keeping your patience, everyone. I've had a few classes today already. So, <laughs> we're, we're going to be working on shoulder work today. All right, we're going to be on our bellies. So be mindful of that, I know. We're going to do Gamukasana on the floor. So we'll be using a couple of um, blocks to help adjust for this to open up the shoulders, but we're going to work up to it, so we're not going straight into that. All right, so welcome. I'm Angie. Good to see you. It's been eons in, the, in this class, that is. So, uh, and this is yin yoga, remembering um, to keep the ego at the door. Allow yourself to make adjustments and modifications for your body, and not to judge it. Just accept where it is today with peace in your heart. We're going to find ourselves in lung bench today. Lung bench. <clears throat> your blocks are parallel to each other, like so on the floor. One block will support the entire shoulder blade, shoulder blade region where the lungs rest. And then the other block usually is a little bit lower, but again, we all have different issues with cervical spine. So adjust the block as you need to. The reason they're the same height in general is the principle is to open up the neck and lift the chin away from the heart, which is the opposite of heart bench. Heart bench tries to bring the chin closer to the heart. All right, it's a gentle movement. So with lung bench, we try and bring the chin up just slightly back. So make those adjustments for you. Again, you're welcome to add anything under the knees if you need them lifted to help support the spine, if you have any spine issues. All right, so maybe using a bolster might be best. So having an entire bolster to support your spine may be a little bit more comfortable than using the blocks, yes. So mm -hmm. I, would, I would make that modification for you. <laughs> Good. All right, and then if you need to, have a blanket under the neck. So if you need support for the neck in this position. <laughs> Alright, those are our modifications you can do. So you're welcome to even use that purple one, the thin purple one along the spine. That blanket, yeah? Rolled under. So taking your time, your legs can be out in bound angle, they can be extended, they can have the lifted extended. Just listening to the body and making any adjustments you need to. The arms can be out into a T. Again, we're trying to open up the lungs here. And for a deeper opening through the heart, you can bring the arms into a bowl post position, elbows are bent. Again, modify as you need to. If you have Welcome to use extra blocks to lift the arms up a little bit if you need. And slowly breathe in and out. Notice the lungs completely surrendering into
Chest on the inhale. Notice the drop of the belly on the exhale as it belly button presses towards the spine. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Fill the lungs as much as you can. And exhale out the mouth. Everything you can. Think of Starting from the top of the lungs, exhaling down through the middle of the lungs, exhaling from the base <coughs> of the lungs, getting that old stagnant air out, allowing for more fresh air to come in on the next breath. Directing the mind inward. Releasing any thoughts that may be moving in. Gently sweeping them out without judgment. Continue to focus on the breath. Know that it is primary to any pose that we do. Allowing the breath to flow evenly, effortlessly. <coughs> With each breath, every transition, every pose. Slowly, if available to you, begin to extend the arms up overhead. Allow the back of the head to continue to surrender into the block, feeling the opening of the neck, a gentle lift of the chin. Opening up the shoulders here, breathing. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows. And allowing the forearms to gently rest onto the forehead. On your next exhale, maybe bringing those forearms down to the crown of the head.
big deal that I need to drop down four to six four. Focus on your breath. Inhale, arms come out into a T, slowly dropping down towards the hips. Begin to bend the knees so that the feet are flat on the floor, knees are up towards the sky. Gently moving the knees side to side. Continue to relax the face and the shoulders. And when you're ready, we're going to drop the knees over to one side, coming off of the blocks, breathing, and coming directly onto your knees. Chest. Allow the knees to be wide. You're welcome to add cushion to the knees. I'm going to bring the hands forward just a few inches as we press back into a child's pose, reaching the hips towards the heels, opening up. You're welcome to add any cushion behind the knees if there's too much pressure on the knees, cushion under the knees. Again, you're welcome to add a block underneath the hips if they stay lifted so that they're supported or a block or a prop under the forehead. Looking up at the fingers, extend a little bit more through the fingers and drop the head down. Inhale, slowly walk the hands to the upper left corner of the mat and press the right hip out. Walk the hands back to center and then over to the upper right corner. Press the left hip out. Walk back to center, deep breath in, and come forward to tabletop. We're going to extend the right arm out to the side. Core is strong. And we're going to slowly thread the right hand underneath the left side of the body and allow the right shoulder to drop down. You're welcome to use a prop for the head or even the shoulder if they won't reach the floor. Begin to extend the left arm forward. Breathe. And you might even play with extending that right arm a little bit further away, feeling the stretch to the shoulder just a little bit more. Again, playing with it, finding your edge, coming out of it whenever you need to.
See if you can relax your face, relax your fingers. Deep breath in, slowly begin to lift the head, lift the shoulders, slide the right arm back out. Come into your tabletop, gently move side to side, back and forth. <coughs> Extend the left arm out. Gently thread the left arm through underneath the right side of the body, dropping the left shoulder down. Allow the head to relax to the floor. Make adjustments, extend further or less. And breathe. Extending the right arm up overhead if comfortable. your hands, your shoulder. See if you can surrender into the mat a little bit more. Deep breath in, slowly start to lift the head, lift the shoulder, unwind, coming back to tabletop, and press back into child's pose, extending the fingers as far as you can. to all fours and slowly coming on to the belly. Opening up the feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. We're going to start in Sphinx, but maybe end up in Seal. So we did this this morning. Oh, okay. All right, elbows come underneath the shoulders, palms down. Engaging your legs first, pressing the tops of your feet into the mat. Feel the knees lift off the floor. Engage your glutes. And make sure those elbows are under the shoulders. We're gonna slowly lift the heart, shoulders back for sphinx. Breathing here. And really press the forearms into the mat. Eyes look forward. Try not to um, disalign the spine by moving the head side to side. You should feel the pelvic muscles pressing into the mat, the top of the feet. The legs are gently lifting off the mat. And then for a deeper expression of this, 
You begin to lift the elbows off the mat, coming into seal. Again, listen to the body. If this is not for you today, then stay in Sphinx. Breathe. The feet can go a little further apart. This may help pressure, relieve any pressure on the back. Hold it there. About 30 more seconds. Focus on your breathing in and out through the nose. And exhale, elbows come down. Extend heart to the floor. Extend arms forward. We're going to begin to cross the right wrist over the left wrist. Slowly, maybe we'll cross the forearms. Maybe right elbow over left elbow. We're coming into folded wings. Maybe upper arms can cross. Hands might reach to the side of the mat. Allowing the head to lift as you maneuver, maybe. Your arms can cross parallel to the top of the mat. Again, maybe not. Maybe your arms are forward and that's enough for today. Allow the breathing to be effortless in and out through the nose. Take your time. And then allow the head to relax either on a block or onto your upper arms into the mats, just depends on where you are today. Allow the lower body to relax, the feet to relax. Allow the neck to relax, the shoulders. Allow the fingertips to relax. Inhale, 
inhale, slowly lift the head. Slowly lift the shoulders, begin to uncross the arms, the hands, extending in front of you and then out to the side, taking your time. Gently bringing palms up and then down, rotating the arm inside the shoulder socket. Deep breath in and slowly bring the arms down away from the head, extending towards the feet. Feel the shoulders come away from the ear. Inhale, bring the hands right back up. We're going to do the other side. Left arm will cross the right. Deep breath in. And maybe this is where you need to stay. Otherwise, begin to cross at the forearm. Maybe the elbows. Maybe the upper arms. Lifting the head if you do come deeper. Maybe even using a prop for the head. Or maybe the chin can relax on the upper arms or on the floor. It's like giving yourself a deep hug right around the heart. See if you can breathe in and out through the nose. Relax the jaw. Relax the throat. Relax the cheeks. The eyes. The forehead. The bridge of the nose. The temple. The neck. And even the shoulders. See if you can relax them with the next exhale. Relax the fingers, the lower body the lower back. Inhale, slowly begin to lift the chin, the head, the shoulders lift up a little bit more, and maybe uncross your arms if they were crossed, reaching forward, and then out into a T. Rotate the arm in its socket, bringing palms up and down. Exhale, hands come down by the hips, pressing 
fingertips towards the feet, shoulders, away from the ears. Relax the hands, relax the body, surrender into the mat, and find your strap. Find two blocks close to the head. We're going to start Gamukasana on floor with a strap in your right hand. We're going to extend that arm far up and we're going to bring the left hand all the way down by the thigh. Beginning to bend that right elbow with the strap in the hand so that we try and bring the fingertips, the strap behind the head, maybe to the middle of the upper back. The left hand will reach up to try and meet it. Left elbow will bend. Try and bring elbows in closer to the body. And use that strap. Maybe you can reach the strap that your right hand is holding with the left. I'll come around and see if anyone needs help. One thing to do too is you're welcome to use those blocks to help keep the elbow, the right elbow, lifted. So place it right there. And see if you can bring the forehead onto the mat, aligning the spine. There we go. I can help to lift that area of the shoulder up. See if you can relax the heart Oh, well, this is a gently relaxed pose. <laughs>
relax your lower body, the glutes, the thighs, the legs, the feet. jaw, the face. Anytime you need to, you're welcome to come out of this. breath in. Begin to lift the head. Begin to release the hands or the strap. Maybe immediately bring the strap to the other shoulder as you extend the arms. Moving block to the other side if you used it. Arms come out into a T. Gently rotate the shoulders. Bring the arms down by the side, gently rotate the shoulders. Bring the arms up overhead, again, rotating shoulders. Shouldn't be any pain, no pain, no pain. Yes, intense stretching and intense discomfort. <laughs> There's a difference. No sharp pains, no pulls, no strains. Just a deep stretch. Now we're going to grab that strap, if you wish to use it, in the left hand. Drag it around the back in a diagonal fashion towards the right hip. Have a block ready for that elbow, you're welcome if you know to immediately place the elbow on the block. So the left elbow on the block before even bending the arm. And then slowly, see about bringing that elbow in closer to the head. Try and keep the neck in alignment. So even when you're seated in Gamukasana, the head is in alignment. You have good posture. The arms are doing their work, but the torso, the spine still stays nice and extended, including the neck. So when you're ready, begin to bend the elbows. See about bringing hands closer towards each other in the center of the back. Listening to the body. And again, using your breath to guide you. Breathing slowly in and out.
See if you can relax the face. Notice if you're clenching your teeth. Assess the body down from the neck and shoulders. Through the ribs and the waist. Relaxing the hips and the glutes, the thighs, the knees. The calves, the ankles, the shins and the toes. Focus on the breathing, in and out through the nose, feeling the lift of the chest with each inhale, feeling the surrender with each exhale. See if you can relax the shoulders a little bit more with each exhale. Deep breath in. Begin to release the arms, lifting maybe the head, extending the arms, noticing how each side might feel so different, maybe more difficult on one than the other. Extend the arms out into a T, gently rotate the arm in the socket. Bring the hands down by the hips, gently rotate. Bend forward, again, gently rotate. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and slowly come up and back into a child's pose. Stretching through the shoulders even more. Using props as you need to, reduce pressure in the shoulders in the knees and the ankles. And bring the hands down to a full child's pose, down by the feet. Allow the shoulders to relax. nearby to prop your legs as they move from one side to the other. Open them up 
to your backs, supine position, bring the knees in towards the chest, you can almost call this a reverse child's pose without the arms, and then extend just the left leg, keep the right leg in, gently squeezing, breathing in and out, using your strap, we're going to place it at the base of the right toes and extend that leg up towards the sky. Stretching through the heel, pressing and feeling the stretch in the hamstring. The closer you bring the foot towards the head, the more of a stretch you'll feel. At the same time, the left leg is actively engaging towards the floor. Extend the right leg out to the side, away from the body opening up the hips, keeping both hips on the floor. Breathe. Again, allow that foot to be guided by the right hand, maybe up or down, wherever it needs to be. The left arm can be out into a T. Engaging the left leg to the floor. Feel the glute engage. Lift the right foot. Switching hands. Grabbing with the left hand now. And then slowly begin to cross that right leg over the left side of the body. Again, you're welcome to use props here if the foot won't reach the floor. Notice the right hip lifts off the floor. The left leg can relax. The right shoulder blade tries to reach for the floor. Breathe. Maybe bringing that right foot up a little higher towards the head, guiding it, deeper stretch here. Feeling the twist in the waist. Try and relax that right shoulder. breath in, begin to engage the left leg to the floor as you lift the right leg up, breathe, maybe trying to bring that right foot closer to the head, stretching just a little bit more through the back of the leg, bending the knees, squeeze it in, deep inhale and on your exhale squeeze that leg in tight. almost as if that right leg is melding in with the torso. Squeezing the organs, activating them, breathing, and exhale, release, allowing fresh blood to infiltrate those lungs, switching left leg, squeeze it in on your exhale. Engaging the right leg to the floor, Using the strap at the base of the left toes now and extend the left leg up. Maybe bringing the left foot closer to the leg or to the head. Breathe. 
it's already attached. And exhale out to the side. Trying to keep both hips on the floor. Breathing. Both shoulder blades are on the floor. Slowly begin to engage the right leg to the floor, lifting up the left, switching strap holds, and then crossing that left leg over to the right side of the body. Left hip will lift up, shoulders both trying to reach the floor. Accept how each side feels, they're different. See if you can relax the shoulders, the fingers, the face. Relax the hip. to engage the right to the floor. Bring the left knee in, squeeze it in. Deep inhale, and on your exhale, squeeze it in even tighter towards you. With each inhale, don't release the leg. Keep squeezing. And exhale, relax the body, coming into your Shavasana. Make adjustments, and yes, legs up the wall can be your Shavasana if you wish. Allow yourself props under the knees, under the neck if you need it. But allow yourself to completely surrender. with each exhale, relaxing a different muscle, maybe even a muscle you don't know that's holding tension, like the jaw, maybe the belly, the lower back. Relaxing the pelvic floor, the thighs. <coughs> Relax your feet, your toes, the palm of the foot, the arch, the heel.
begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your feet, your toes. Gently move the head side to side. Bending your knees. Gently move the knees side to side. And when you're ready, rolling over onto one side, taking a breath here, and then coming into to a comfortable seated position. for this hour that you gave yourself <coughs> to allow your body to slowly engage, stretch, and engage with the spirit, breathing in and out that life force, breathing in <coughs> all that you need, breathing out hopefully what you don't need, and accepting where you are, finding joy in each moment. Finding peace, a peace that starts within each and every one of us. Delight in these days and honors that love in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. <coughs> You're welcome. Are you doing the bar class tomorrow? I don't normally hit the bars in the morning, but I'll make an exception this time. <laughs> Me too. I don't normally do <laughs> This time we'll make an exception. We'll do it together then. <laughs> we'll stagger out of bar class. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how hard it is. I see you both in there. Good. Yeah. 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 We missed you last week. I missed you all. That's why I told Mary this morning I miss my yoga family <laughs> more than anybody. <laughs> Good people. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't hear that. Because I missed you. Where did you fly back? Mm-hmm. It was cool. I didn't have any. Nothing? Oh, really? I was so lucky. I had this girl on my side. And she even said, oh, it's not a flight. I said, what's the one like you? <laughs> like, yeah, against someone else you don't know. Well, it was, we didn't know each other. It was just that we were the same size. Right, right, yeah, but you yeah. know it was overflowing. Yeah. It's funny how that makes a difference when you're in a, a long flight. Yeah. yeah, especially from the West Coast, right, California? That's like... You know, so make it. Five hours if direct, otherwise it's seven to ten. I went from up there at 8 30, got into mm. DC. Of course, that's three hours difference mm. at four. Mm-hmm. Four or five, and then got home at seven. <laughs> yeah. I was a one at less than an hour. Yeah, they used to. Oh, good. It was, it was not busy. They used to have a direct flight from like LA to Norfolk or San Diego to Norfolk. Mm-hmm. Depends on where you are. They used to have a direct flight. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I know. Normal, it's true. But California is that way. It's outrageously expensive. Why? Because people like the weather. They like the weather. There's not even vegetation. You have to spend a fortune just to get vegetation. I mean, get that. The weather. It's I didn't think. Okay, that's not good weather to me. No. You have to live right on the coast for it not to be hot. Mm -hmm. And we could be here for the desert. Hillcrest. Oh, okay. Hillcrest is one. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not directly on the water. Yeah. But it's still, you know, a few miles <laughs> right from him. Yeah. yeah, it still gets warm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And, yeah, but then you can't afford it. Yeah. The 750 condo would have been two million. Right? Yeah, I know. Oh, more than that. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just, it was just crazy to me. I just didn't get it. And they want me to move there. And then his mother wants me to move to Rosarito Beach in Mexico. What? I really? Handle that. I would not be going to Mexico anytime soon. Is there something going on? It's just there's too, too much problems with the immigration. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, she said that's what they say, but she said. It's not like that, really, in real I mean, life. You she still said have that to she's... cross the border and yeah. have to deal with that. Well, she said that she's got her paper. She crosses three times a week. Wow. And it's no problem. There, yeah. She said, as long as you got your paperwork, it's not a problem. Borders are open. Yeah. She said, yeah, they're open to us, but it's still, you got to deal with the traffic and yeah. all that. Well, the traffic drove me nuts. That's the only reason I would not live there is because of the traffic. And, of course, yeah. it's yeah, very expensive. I'm not, I'm happy right here. Around Los Angeles, is the interstate like four lanes each way? Oh, five. 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 Why are you all driving this like and and going on a ramp? People just cut you off real fast. And I'm like, were you driving? No. Uh, and I was like, you all don't have enough fuel to talk about the drivers in Georgia. Did you see how much gas was? Oh God, it was like five dollars or something. It's like five something. It's yeah. Twice as expensive. I'm like, oh no, no, no. It's because they tax it. It's because the state taxes everything. Oh God, tax was awful too. And, and the taxes, you know, are crazy up there. Yeah. For Especially, yeah. Especially for gasoline. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I used to have a house out there. And I got out. I left. I left. It was not. If crazy. you left there and came here with what you had out there, oh my golly, it's a lot better here. Being a lot better off. I have to. I, have I to. like the fact that we do have some seasons. That's why I like it here. And I don't mind the humidity at all compared to. Well, we got air conditioning here. Yeah. So if it gets bad, I need to just go inside. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Or come to the senior center. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, get your, get your shoulders wrung out. <laughs> that's right. I know, I did a lot of shoulders today, but I'm glad I, wanted to prep, I wanted to prep because of that gamukasana. That whole position just needs a lot of opening up before we get into it. I'm so glad you did it because sometimes my right shoulder gets a little stiff. It was an excellent class. Oh, um, good. Always. Yeah. Last week I had spaghetti legs, this week I had spaghetti <laughs> yawns. So it all works out. Get like